Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. Back in the early 2000s, I was um, surprised and gratified when the survey came out that said, Tina Turner's What's Love Got to Do With It? The greatest rock and roll song ever. I have loved that song since its first release. First of all, it's a great song. And second of all, who can't love Tina Turner? And third, it evokes a great memory in me. I used that song as the sermon illustration in the very first wedding I ever officiated. So we we're in a hotel and we're under this arbor thing. And I was standing next to my cousin. It was my cousin's wedding. I was standing next to my cousin's fiance, soon to be bride's rabbi. Rabbi was right there. I, we shared the service. Very cool. Rabbi did the vows thing and I preached. Now, I was young, thought I was pretty cool. I was a pretty cool guy. I was wearing on my leather jacket, members only leather jacket. Had a sweet mullet of hair down the back of my neck. And um, you know, I love rock and roll. So I began my reflection. I began the whole scripture part by asking the musical question, what's love got to do with it? And then I dropped down into what I thought was my preaching voice. It has everything, everything to do with it. Then I read from 1 Corinthians 13. Now, as I think of our St. John United Church in our slogan, our motto, our driving statement, united in love, united for service, I want to think about and talk about love just a little bit and once more, read from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, because it says so much more than I could ever say. Next time, we'll talk about service. But now I want us to remember that love has everything to do with it. Let me just grab 1 Corinthians 13. Let us hear the word of God. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels but do not have love. I'm a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and have all knowledge, and if I have faith enough to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give away all my possessions and hand my body over to be burned, to be martyred, so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. Love is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in the wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, puts up with everything. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Love never ends. And now, faith, hope, and love abide in these three. And the greatest of these is love. Grace and peace. We'll see you later.